Monty Don, 66, has issued a warning after a Twitter user accused him of being a Luddite. The horticulture expert had been sharing his experiences with kitchen devices. Writer Amanda Jan Mason asked, Do you remember 1972? Did you have a microwave oven then? The internet is being irritatingly vague on when they became a regular thing and I have a sentence to write. Mondi replied, in view of his 251,000 followers, of course not. No one did. I never saw one till 2002 and never used one until 2022. Twitter user Dr. Paul Cook replied, just the merest hint of the Luddite in the second half of that tweet Monty followed by a winking emoji. Meanwhile, Lily McOwen interjected, I'm a Luddite, it's all electricery to me. To contradict myself I do have one but only use it to soften butter in winter or to sterilize compost. Monty agreed with Lily McOwen in some respects. Despite having, I am afraid that I do not answer gardening queries via Twitter. In his Twitter bio, Monty shared some wise words about compost with his follower. The 66-year-old said, It is, of course, essential to soften butter, but please don't sterilize compost The whole point of it is that it turns with life and is gloriously unsterile. He added, Teams not terms, gardeners fat fingers. Don't miss, last month, Monty hit back at what he called an anti-woke attack. This was aimed at those who defend the use of peat in gardening, which has been criticized for causing environmental damage. He wrote on Twitter, using peat is defended by some as an anti-woke attack on individual choice and liberty. Got to get past this. Using peat does environmental harm, why would any gardener seek to defend that? Also it is simply untrue that there are no viable alternatives. Time to get real. Alan Titchmarsh, 72, who was lead presenter of Gardener's World before Monty, has recently spoken out against cancel culture. The former Garden Force star explained that people should be more accepting of different points of view. This idea is one of the main themes of his latest novel. Allen said, with cancel culture and intolerance of different opinions so common at the moment, I'm just really making a creed occur for tolerance of things we don't understand and different points of view.